Balance curve is one of the most important topics when we talk about income inequality. It allows us to graph the inequality of a society and compare it to the line of equality, which is basically a line which shows a society where everyone makes the same income. This is not practically possible of course, but it is just for us to compare with the Lorentz curve. Lorentz curve measures the income percent every section of the population has. So let's say we have a graph like this one. On the x axis, we would have the percent of population written down and on the y axis, the cumulative share of their income. I will explain how to use this with an example. Let's say we have to find out how much 20% of the population makes. So we look at the x-axis and plot a straight line up to the Lorentz curve and then a horizontal line from the point on the Lorentz curve we just got to the y-axis. Now when your horizontal line touches the y-axis, you have the percent income 20% of the population makes. It was introduced by American economist Max O. Lorentz in 1905 to represent wealth distribution. The Gini coefficient which we just discussed yesterday can be found out from the Lorentz curve and the line of equality. To draw the line of equality, we have to draw a 45 degree angle uh, from the x-axis to the y-axis. Using the formula A by A plus B, the area A is the hemispherical area between the line of equality and the Lorentz curve and B is the area of the triangle formed by the x-axis, y-axis and the line of equality. Using this formula, economists are able to find the Gini coefficient of societies and countries. This video is over but I want to know your opinion. Do you want daily short 2 minute videos like these or 10 minute videos once a week? And also, I wanted to thank all of you for crossing 250 subscribers.